hey guys welcome back to my youtube so for today's video this is highly requested every single year um i literally i always watch these videos because i'm actually such a nosy person that i just want to know what everyone got for christmas and obviously a lot more people do it on tiktok now which honestly every day on my for you page i'm like looking out for them i did put a poll on my story to ask because i was like i didn't want to do it if it would make anyone upset because obviously there is a lot of people struggling at the moment with cost of living crisis and things like that. So I didn't want this video to look like I'm bragging or anything like that. So if this is something that may upset you, then please don't watch it because I don't want it to be like that. I literally had so many votes saying yes and that everyone in my DMs was literally saying they wanted to see this video. So I was like, I'm going to film it. Um, I literally haven't filmed this in, I want to say, maybe one or two years like i definitely didn't film it last year but the year before that i can't remember i normally upload these as well like when i was younger i used to probably upload these like at the end of january honestly it used to be so long starting off i got these pajamas from skims and like at the moment i've had an obsession with like long pajamas anything long pajamas i love i just think they're so comfy and you know when you've had your everything shower and you get into a pair of pajamas after you've just moisturized it's just so nice um so these ones are from skims and then the trousers are like this year, but I, I'm saying I could easily wear these trousers out. Like, they're multi-purpose. I can have them as pajamas, but I can also have them as just, like, going out trousers. Because they literally look like a pair of flares I have. See, I love these. These are, I'm starting with everything from my mum and dad. I'm just going to show what I got from my mum and dad and then my nan and granddad. And then I also got this, which I was actually hoping so much I'd get because I really, really wanted this. It's um, a diffuser from The White Company. When I tell you, I just want my room to smell so nice. And I've always bought, I've always put candles in my room. It doesn't, it doesn't do a lot and you can't have a candle on all the time. So this diffuser, it like lets you fill it up with water and then you get like these oil drops to put in it. I've got the spa scent. It's insane and you can put like the timer on. So I've got it for like, it goes on for eight hours and then every five minutes it like lets it out. But it's literally made my room smell like a spa. Like, it's insane. I also brought one for my nan because I was like... And my auntie Emma got one for Christmas as well, which was just so weird. Everyone was getting these diffusers recently. I also got this um, Dior... I think it's a plumper. Um, and my mum got my name engraved on it, which is sick. But you can't really see it because it's like quite clear. So it's really hard to see. Um... Yeah, you, look, you literally can't really see it. You can kind of see the K there. So nice. I actually don't own um, like a lip, a Dior lip anything. Apparently they're really good. So yeah, and it came in this really cute bag as well. And then I really wanted kind of like slip. I don't really wear slippers, but I wanted shoes that I could kind of just like wear around the house and things like that. And so my mum got me these like Ugg sliders, which I think are so nice just because I feel, I don't know, I just don't really wear slippers, but I feel like... These are quite nice just to walk around the house. I feel like they're quite bougie. With your little toes hanging out. <laughs> I got this Adnola like play suit thing. Which I feel like again you could wear as like pajamas, lounge around the house, or also just like going out. Like in this like summer, you could you could definitely get away with just wearing that in public with like a pair of trainers or something. But also like, you know, when you go to the airport as well. I don't know. I don't know if the buttons make it look too much like pajamas, but I haven't tried it on yet. I also got this Skims dress, which I think is so good for traveling because it's like really lightweight and easy just to fold up and chuck in your bag so you don't have a lot of room. But also a nice evening wear. Yeah, and also I love these dresses because you can dress them up, dress them down. And it's this really nice color. And if you guys know anything about Skims, it's actually my favorite brand. It's so nice. I have all their thongs and they are the best thongs I've ever worn. Talking of Skims, I have one of the bikinis and it's such a nice bikini so i asked for it in black because again for traveling these bikinis are just so flattering and like i feel like buying a good quality bikini sometimes is just so good because they last obviously bikini they literally last your whole lifetime um so i just got this plain black one because i thought it's just simple and you can also mix and match it with other bikinis it was so weird asking for some summer clothes in winter for christmas but i was like i'll literally go next month which is so scary because i'm not prepared at all for traveling i'm kind of just if you can't tell just starting with all the clothes and things like that at the moment i literally got so many questions about these when i posted my tiktok um but these they're like this waffle material and they're from ugg and tennessee was wearing these in locked in and i was like oh my god i love them i was like that's going straight on my christmas list and then it also has the matching jumper and then someone um 
posted on it was i think it was on tiktok it was like what i was wearing and guys these are on sale so do like don't walk run because it was literally like 80 quid down to 40. having a two-piece set is just so good because you can just wear it everywhere and anywhere well not everywhere and anywhere but you get the gist. I just, it's so easy just to reach into your wardrobe when you don't know what to wear. Grab this two piece set and chuck the top on with it. And then I got this other one from Ugg as well. Since I'd act, I wore it yesterday. But I feel like this is for in the house. But also, I literally, like, when I went to my nan's yesterday for dinner. So, like, I wore this then. This really nice soft material. I don't actually know what this is called, but it's like that. Um, I don't know. It's just really nice and fluffy. And it's like a little cropped, like, zip up jacket it also comes with the flares which is just oh it's so nice my dad actually bought this for my mum as well but in a brown color and on christmas day i went to go wear these and she was already wearing them she beat me to it I'm upset about that but it's fine because it made the perfect boxing day little set and oh my god i was wearing that and i was at my nan's and she has like the best sofa in the world like when i tell you i was only on about two sofa cushions yeah but it's just so deep the sofa that you can just curl, curl up in a ball and like just you're just destined to fall asleep because it just makes you fall asleep so when i was in that all curled up my nan's sofa having a nap didn't wake up for two hours it was lovely i'm moving on to these were like my main presents so again i don't want to look like i'm bragging or anything because i'm not people did just genuinely ask to see this um so please don't think that I'm bragging in any sort of way. I'm, I'm honestly so grateful. If you guys, if you know me, you know how much I wear heeled boots. Like any going out occasion, it is blazer and heeled boots, dress heeled boots, skirt heeled boots. Everything goes with heeled boots. My other boots were from PLT for a lot of people that were asking. And at the hill, they've started to wear it down a bit. Well, obviously you wear them on the night out. So I've got these ones from Steve Madden. And they're like the... They're like a dupe of the Givenchy's low key. Um, and they had this really cute silver buckle. And then they're like these. So they're the ones that like fold over. Which I know is like a lot of people love or hate these. I love them. Literally as soon as I got them up, I put them on. But I had like these red pyjamas on. And I literally looked like Santa Claus. I'm actually obsessed with these. I cannot wait to wear them out. But I don't want to wear them out because I don't want to ruin them. But they're just, they're stunning. They're actually just, that's the one way I can use to describe them. Stunning. I love a heeled boot. And Steve Madden, invest in a pair in Steve Madden, yeah, because their heels, I have, um, my mum brought just like a classic black pair of heels. And when I tell you, they last all night. Like, your feet do not hurt at all. I don't know what kind of sorcery they put in these fucking shoes. But trust me, trust me, trust me, they are so good. Now we keep buying Steve Madden high heels because they just last all night and then you don't have to come home with grotty feet because you've had to take your heels off. They're very trustworthy. I'm hoping the boots are the same, <laughs> but it does look it because the heel's quite chunky, so I feel like that would be quite comfortable. Okay, and then this was my main present. Do you know what I love? You know when you don't ask for anything? A lot of the stuff that I got, my mum just thought of her, of her own back, which I love because it just makes like Christmas Day so exciting because you don't know what you're going to get. Um, and honestly, my mum just, she's just got to that point where she knows me so well. And if you've seen like when we did the, when uh, my mum and dad used to pick our outfits, my mum just never got me like, she used to just buy me like stuff that I'd never wear. And now she just gets me to the tea. And it was so weird because we were out shopping and I pointed to them and I was like, oh, I actually do really like them. And she'd already got them for me, which is just so weird. Great minds think alike, eh? Never owned a pair of Louis Vuitton shoes. And cause, mainly because like, I feel like sometimes they do some wacky stuff. And I feel like these are going to be very controversial as well because I feel like some people are going to love or hate them. They might be a bit like Marmite. But me... I absolutely love them. I've got this. They're like this lovely beige colour. Um, which I asked for trainers in a beige colour. Didn't ask for these because, honestly, insane. Um, and then they've got these like rope laces, which are so cool. But I just feel like I love a chunky trainer. Like, chunky trainers. I just love them. And then these colours as well. You can't go wrong. And then it, I think that's sick. Which I then don't want to get them dirty because like I feel like the bottom bit is just so cool. What else can I say other than I've said it a hundred times. If you did a shot every time I said this, you'd absolutely be paralytic. But I love them. You will now see me being wearing these every single day. Although I don't want to because I don't want to ruin them. This is just so cute. It's this Louis Vuitton bracelet. Let me put it on. I took it off when I got in the shower just because... 
a bit risky about wearing my drawer in the shower but look how cute that is i've always brought myself jewelry from like dior or louis vuitton and it's always been like a gold something which you if you go in the shower literally comes off which is so bad because if you're like buying expensive jewelry it shouldn't be doing that like i buy jewelry from like high street brands and i'll wear them in the shower and they'll be fine but then i buy something from like louis vuitton or dior and it comes off I, it just doesn't make any sense but i feel like this one won't do that because obviously it's like a leather and i just think it's so cute and it has like a little bag at the end in like this gold detail which i feel like that could but um that's why i'm just going to make sure i take it off but i love getting jewelry from like people because i feel like it's just such like a like, it's more sentimental i don't know what it is i just lo i love jewelry so much you guys always see me wearing jewelry all the time and i just feel like when you get like bracelets or necklaces or earrings from people it's just so sentimental and everyone knows that's so how i always get jewelry i got a new key ring for my car keys which look how cute these are i just think the colors just go so nicely together and like i literally put them on my keys straight away honestly i love them when i was younger i actually used to collect key rings like i literally just had a bag filled with key rings and they'd be like you know in like same reason that when you get the um trolley ones me and my best friend when we were younger we went to like um i think it was like a it was like a car boot sale i think it was no it wasn't a car it was like a it was like people people were selling things and we didn't know what it was we just thought it was a key ring so we got like matching because we thought it was so cool that is everything that i got for my parents which honestly i'm so grateful so big thank you to them because they literally have spoiled me so much this year and i literally couldn't believe it so thank you guys so so much i'm going to show you what i got from my nan and granddad okay so um my mum's mum and dad my nan and granddad they got me a vivian westwood bag which is absolutely is so cute for like nights out and my nan always knows that i love a small bag she always mocks me for having small bags so she's like it doesn't even fit your phone in it but i'm like you have your phone in your hand anyways but it looks like this and it has this i haven't you know i need to get that off with scissors <laughs> um but is it has like this silver detailing which i said will go perfect with the boots that my mum and dad got me because they have the silver strap going around it and then it has the little vivian westwood logo but it's so cute because it's not like an annoying bag that's big but it's just like gonna fit your lip gloss in it your lipsticks keys and then like your id and things like that and then i love that it also goes like longer as well but i quite because i tried it on long at first but then i was like i actually quite like the sh um it short like look how cute that is i love it so much this is such like a nan and granddad thing to get and i love it but it says to the most to the most most special granddaughter because i am the favorite granddaughter i don't care what any of my siblings or my cousins say me i'm the favorite i'm only joking by the way obviously my nan and granddad love us all equally anyways light spring and joy so it's like a granddaughter lends her grandparents something of joy a granddaughter flings a window open letting in light and the scent of spring that's me i let in a scent of spring because i carry around my air diffuser <laughs> jokes but it's just so cute i feel like my nan and granny when i was younger they once got me like this um plaque and it said something about a granddaughter and i used to hang it on my door but it's so cute and then my nan and granddad so my dad's mom and dad um got me this from the white company i didn't ever used to really wear dressing gowns um and then i started wearing them like the last couple of months and my dressing gown for some reason is like quarter length and I don't know why it just really irritates me because I'm like I want to be all cosy and like that half of the arm that's out is getting cold. And I just wanted a nice new dressing gown. That's just everyone wants a nice new dressing gown. Um, So my nan got me this one from the white company. It's just like this white one but it's just such a nice fluffy material. I'm just scared I'm going to get fake tan and makeup on this but it's fine nothing that bit of vanish can't fix you know i'm getting older when i'm actually so excited to open a dressing gown and an air diffuser on christmas guys i'm maturing yeah absolutely love that can't wait to have an everything shower put that on chill in my bed for about an hour before i start getting ready and then um i also got again guys the obsession with the pajamas continues i don't know what it is it's just because i never used to be a big pajama person like i would literally pick up the one odd pair of shorts i have and the other scrappy top that the straps basically falling off put it together and go to bed but now i just love doing like self-care and like be i would love to feel clean when i get into my bed and just have like fresh pajamas on and i don't know girls if you know you know that feeling it's just the best feeling ever 
And so my nan got me these um, pajamas from the White Company, which again, are such a nice material. I feel like asking for like nice pajamas for Christmas is just so good because it's like, you're not necessarily gonna wanna buy yourself pajamas, but just having that as like a gift is just so nice. You just can't go wrong. Um, so they have like these stars on them and then they have like white, uh, white? A silver lining down the edge and they're like also again long pajamas they have to be flared because then they're just a bit more airy so you can sleep comfortably but yeah these ones it's just so nice and then of course has the matching top I'm just never gonna wear these when I'm like I don't know doing my makeup or anything because they're white gotta protect this white when I tell you today I've been so lazy I didn't go to bed till about I think it was like half three and so I didn't wake up until like 12 something didn't get out of bed until about one so i had long pajamas on from last night that i got for christmas but i put them in the wash they were uh, like bow avenue ones like this like pink silk um got out so got ready got out of them put these on because i'm just having a chill day today these skims pajamas are the nicest feel ever they're so comfy and i just thought all nice and cozy i just I, you know what's missing a little hot chocolate and a movie that's what's missing right now um so thank you so much to everyone who watched um i hope you guys enjoyed this video again i just want to make it clear that this wasn't me bragging at all i'm extremely grateful for every single thing that i got um and i hope everyone had such a good christmas i just love christmas so much like just even though i meet my family so, like i see my family all the time which i'm so grateful to be able to see them all the time but for like christmas it just has that extra extra sprinkle of just love <laughs> i don't even know what i'm saying but just like everyone getting around and eating together and eating chocolates playing games things like that and then um yesterday on boxing day we went around my nan and granddad's but my dad's mum and dad because we don't see them on christmas day because our family guys is no joke like it is massive so my family that's like me my family my nan and granddad and my auntie emma and her family we can't there's not there's too many of us to go over to theirs and they have like everyone round um because there's about like honestly 20 or 5 like, i think there's about 30 people it's just i don't know so we go and spend boxing day with them but and obviously christmas eve oh my god christmas eve is i actually can't decide if i prefer christmas eve or christmas day because christmas eve when we all go around my auntie jane's again there's about 30 of us um and she makes it these like cocktail sticky sausages best thing ever and then like a buffet kind of food so like loads of different things appetizers and then when we were younger obviously the kids do it now but me and my cousin we would sit there the whole time just tracking santa because we're on the santa tracker thing um we would sit there and just keep refreshing it keep refreshing it and then as soon as we was in england we would all run up to my auntie jane's bedroom look out the window and then we would see him like walking up and down with like the bells and then like i was so scared as a kid that he would see me and i wouldn't get a present that i would literally duck and be so scared and like i'd get in the car straight away and be ducking in the car because i didn't want him to know that i was away but it was just such a magical time and i just i don't know i just love christmas so much i'm also so glad though that i have younger siblings because i feel like it just keeps the christmas magic because i feel like as you get older you don't you just like you just missed like that feeling when you was a kid and you had that and i feel like we didn't appreciate that enough as a kid of like how much we felt like that at christmas because i feel like as you get older you kind of lose it a bit but that's why i'm so glad i have younger sisters because it just kind of keeps up in the air guys comment down below what did you guys get for christmas what was your favorite present um and yeah i hope everyone had I was literally about to say i hope everyone had a good christmas already said that and yeah see you guys next time bye